Webtoon is kind of a gamble. You don't really know what you're going to get into. Especially since there are so many comics on it that are poorly written out of shit artwork but end up in the top charts and some people's recommended feeds, while other comics on it that are actually worth some people's time end up buried on the deep end. This isn't always the case though. This is why we're covering Urban Animal. Written by Justin Jordan and drawn by John Armour, Urban Animal is a currently ongoing webtoon that follows Joe Gomez, a high school student who turns out to be a reincarnation of an ancient chimera, a type of creature that is capable of shapeshift into a type of animal, whether it's part of mythology or something we see on a day-to-day -day life. As the story continues, we are introduced to other chimeras, good and bad, to other factions that exist to hunt down chimeras and steal their essence to power their dark magic. The overall story of Urban Animal is one that kind of starts out simple, similar to something like a superhero story like Spider-Man or Ben 10, another franchise some readers like to make comparisons to, and as the series progresses, it evolves as it goes on, with different reveals and plot twists regarding certain characters. One thing I like to point out is the fact that the comic itself does get darker and more serious as it goes on. The escalation as the comic progresses is written subtly, and a lighter, funnier tone of the earlier run of the comic does a great job reinforcing the darker atmosphere in the later and more recent arcs in the series. The characters of Urban Animal are good, even though they, they do feel a tad too familiar, at least to me. The character archetypes do bear plenty of resemblance to other characters if you are someone who has seen a lot of cartoons and read a lot of comics, where you have the standard main character who is a superhero or has the ability, he has a circle of friends that he does stuff with that either know or don't know about his double life. You have the crazy mentor and also the love interest or the person the main character that wants to be in relationship with. But that is more so a nitpick on my part. Just because there are some similarities did not take away the charm or likability of some of the characters. There were many moments in there were many moments Joe or any of his friends would say something I did get that did get a chuckle out of me. The art of Urban Animal is something I would describe as simplistic yet memorable. John Armour's art style may not be the most complex, but it is part of the charm. The use of lighting, shading, and backgrounds are well blended into each other, and it's also a good point that John uses his webtoon model to his advantage, to the point where I wonder how the print version of the comic might turn out, but I have some faith. Currently I don't have many criticisms about Urban Animal, they mostly just come from the fact that the story can be a bit confusing by the current run, but that could just be due to some of the gaps in between the seasons, so when you go back when it updates you might need a refresher, but that could be said about any comic or manga in general that has some level of complex storytelling in it. In closing, Urban Animal is easily in Webtoon's top 5 web comics that is a must read. The story is interesting, the characters are fun, and the journey from happy-go-lucky to a darker story is one that I highly recommend if you are a fan of these types of stories. But that's all I got for now. If anyone has any other suggestions of what other webtoons I should cover, let me know in the comments. But this is Lone signing off.